Hey, it's Big Mac with Koenigsberg Properties, and I try to do this video outside, but the background noise is just overwhelming, so we're stuck back in the house. And one thing I notice about all YouTubers, they always have this stupid, unique lamp. And I, in my background, I got my grandma's lamp. Uh, she passed away a few years ago, but it's nothing special, nothing unique. So there you have it. I, I am not one of the cool YouTubers. But if you hit the like button, maybe one day I will and I'll get thrown out there. So I have not been able to film the last couple of weeks. I've been on vacation. Last week we were in Newport, Oregon on the beach. We stayed in a nice four star hotel. We found amazing deals. It was at the Hallmark Resort. If you all want to check it out, they're having a 25% promotion and they're a extremely amazing hotel. So please check them out. We go went down there. there. Of course, not everything is open back up because of the COVID-19, but a lot of the small businesses were, and they are struggling. Uh, the coastal town is a very seasonal economy. They rely on their summer traffic. And when we were down there, there was almost zero traffic. And so when we walked in, you had business owners greeting us, showing us the deals they're having. There's 25%, 30%, 40%, 50% off of off their handmade merchandise. And, you know, me and my wife, we just looked at each other and we're like, hey, let's try to help these small businesses as much as we can. So every shop that we went into, we try to buy a little something. When this small business that I own with Konigsberg and the jobs that me and my wife work, we are doing okay financially. And so we try to help out small businesses. And if you're able to help out small businesses, please support small business, whether it's a restaurant, a local artisan shop, what have you, just help them out. So without going into too much more craziness let's jump into this week's episode of Coney Scaled. If you're not If you're not familiar, we have two accounts. We got the Weevil account, which is my diversified portfolio. We have the Robinhood account, which is my real estate focused portfolio. And they're both performing amazing we had a big dip last week i bought as much as i could afford into that dip and both my portfolios are doing excellent now what's surprising to me is and i thought the covid 19 would hit it harder but my real estate portfolio is outperforming my diversification portfolio and i was not quite expecting that i expect that my weeble would outperform my robin hood but so far real estate is kicking butt. Now, I have been receiving a lot more dividends from my Weibo account versus my Robinhood account, but total return of investment, Robinhood is kicking it, and I can't argue. So let's jump into this week's episode. It's such a beautiful day outside. I really wish I could made this video outside, but like I said, for some reason, the background noise is just insane, and I apologize. Now you're stuck indoors. So let's go ahead and open up the Weibo account. And I, while on vacation, I was thinking what I want this series to focus on. Yes, I want to show newcomers that they need to be invested in the market and that they need to get started. The hardest thing is to get started, but I'm, with this channel, I'm showing you that if you invest 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars a week, that you can have decent returns. And I, I want to show that, but I also am thinking that the direction of this channel, I want to also provide a forward thinking strategy. So what I decided to do and what I'm going to try to do every week is to tell you what I am looking for, what stocks that I'm going to be focusing on. Of course, a lot can change. Like we had a big dip like two weeks or last week on Friday, we had a huge dip. So I was trying to buy up as much as I can during that dip. But overall, I don't want to get in a habit of people looking out. Oh, look at what I have done. I want to look at what I am going to do and just to help Y'all out, keep me honest and make sure that my strategy is sound and I can adjust it if need be. 
But I mean, it, it really varies day to day because if the market is down, that's the best time to buy. So I might be thinking, well, I'm going to buy a thousand shares of Tesla, but the market dips on Apple, then it would be stupid for me not to jump on Apple if there's no change to Tesla. You know, it, it's just, and it really depends on how you want your portfolio divided up. Right now, I was looking at my overall spreadsheet with my Webull account, my Robinhood account, and my TD Ameritrade account. I have no more than 3% in any one balance. And that's, for me, that's really decently diversified and I'm trying to keep it that way that that across my portfolio that I'm not greater or too much greater than anything else unless it's an insanely good buy according to my spreadsheet and I will do a special episode about this spreadsheet I've been mentioning so y'all can see this and you can make your own tweaks to the spreadsheet to help you make the best decisions but honestly it's a combination of a bunch of different spreadsheets I've seen through YouTube, through Google searching, and it's just like a Frankenstein of information for me that I base my decisions on. And I will share that at one point down the road. I'm not quite ready yet because I'm still fine tuning it, but hopefully it will benefit you like it benefit me. Just I'm just gonna slowly throw, scroll through my positions and there's nothing going on too great. I FDUS is down a little bit and I actually been reinvesting a lot into that stock but other than that everything has been up and up and up in the green and just remember that the charts at the end of this segment is based on Thursday night right now it's Friday morning and so that there's might be a little bit of difference and that's why let's go over the transactions we've made this week well shoot I should be able to do the past two weeks since I didn't do anything but you can see I've been ordering up a, a bunch of FDUS and anything extra I dump into UMUC. UMUC is like a deadbeat dividend paying out stock so if I have extra money I just plant it there. If I need to ever take out money I'll probably take it from there because that stock is stable. Uh, as long as there's electronics being made in the world they'll they'll survive and so I, that's sort of like a money holding pit and whatever's left over I dump in there so I get the dividend. You know, it's just stupidly simple, but that's what I do. So what I'm going to be focusing on this week is to get my balance up to that hundred dollar point. And so with FDUS, I want to get that to a hundred dollars next week. A lot of these are almost there, like FTIA is almost there, Key is almost there. So I am going to focus on FDUS, look at FTA. I and look at key and if they drop at all next week I am going to jump on them like a tiger jumping on a piece of meat so that's what I'm going to be focusing on next week now if they are not considered a good buy according to my spreadsheet I might hold off but I'm also looking for those big market dips so this is the current performance for the last week well technically two weeks because I didn't produce a video last week I want to take a quick break right now and if you have not already have a brokerage account set up please consider using my referral links below for either the Weibo or Robinhood. Robinhood is definitely designed for new investors and Weibo is designed for the more experienced investors. Both are excellent platforms. There's some little kinks in both platforms that I would wish they would change but hopefully that will come with time. Anyway if you click those referral links that will greatly support this channel and I appreciate it. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into Robinhood. Now close your eyes because you can't see my secret password. Mention this at the intro, but my Robinhood has been killing it, yo. It is outperforming my Weeble as of Thursday night, and which is awesome. I mean, today is a little down. That's fine. But overall, my real estate is kicking it. Now, I'm not invested in just one type of real estate. I have retail. I have residential. I have mortgage backs. I have industrial. And so I try to, even though I say real estate it is 
everything about real estate. So I don't focus on just one industry of real estate. I focus, try to focus on all industries. Now, one industry I have not touched in real estate is the hospitality. That is going to hurt for the next couple of years. And honestly, until they get a vaccine with this COVID, I'm probably not going to touch it for a while just because there's probably going to be a lot of restructuring there. Same thing with retail. I'm a little light in retail just because. I mean, overall, you can see, I mean, this, this Friday morning, the markets are down a little bit. And I just, last week at the dip, I was just buying like crazy. Let's go to our transaction. Everything is different between the two things. So statements and history. Okay, so I'll just keep it there. So, I mean, I just slowly scroll through here. It, it's just everything is going according to what I need it to go. You see a couple dividends there. I love dividends. I love it to get paid for when I put my money in a company and they pay me for that, just like it should be. So what am I looking for in this company in the next next week? So I am trying, and just like the Weibo, I'm trying to get my shares above the $100 point. And once we get uh, above the $100 point, then I have another strategy I'm going to use. But at this point, I am going to focus on LXP and um, NRZ. NRZ is a stupidly strong small company. And I've really enjoyed purchasing it and enjoying the benefits of owning that stock. LXP is a little bit more riskier investment they are, uh, let's take a look here. They are, you know, an investment trust and they do commercial properties. And of course, commercial properties are taking a hit, but I like the financials of this company and I'm just going to continue to invest into it up until the hundred dollar mark. Once I get to the hundred dollar mark, then I might revisit the idea if I should more or less invest in this company. But until that happens, I'm just gonna to continue to do what I do in this company. This is my two week performance for the Robinhood account. I really appreciate y'all watching this week's episode of Koenig's Geld. And if you would not mind, hit that like button. That like button will push this video out there so we have other viewers and potential subscribers to help support this channel and my small business. And if you have not already, click the subscribe button so you stay up to date with both the Koenig's Geld, the Koenig's Crypto, and the Koenigsberg Guides that this channel produces. I really appreciate it. This small business is being a success because of y'all and Without your support, this endeavor would probably have vanished already. And stay safe out there. There's a bunch of craziness happening. Do what's right for you, your family, and your community. Anyway, y'all stay safe out there. I love you.